So we are looking <coughs> we are looking at mathematical literacy and vocab. So we're going to complete this chart by filling in the missing information about when to use a linear, exponential, or quadratic function. So I'm going to do my little math aerobics first. We know I keep doing this for quadratic, right? Start with quadratic. If I'm going to do a linear equation, what is it going to look like? What is it Straight line. Right? Changes with the slope. What does an exponential look like? I don't know if I ever did that. Uh, Trace it with your hand in the air if you want. Like, what is it? So I like to think of it kind of like a Nike swish. Right? Or positive or negative. Okay? So think about those in your brain while we answer these. We're going to talk about first differences and second differences and what those mean. Okay, completing the chart by filling in the missing information, when to use linear, exponential, or quadratic. So we're not going to do this first, but we're going to go over this. I want you to put this next to you as we're doing this reteaching. Okay? I know it's the first time I taught you, so it's not really reteaching. Okay? But the reason we're going over this is I'm going to try to make it a little bit quick so we can make sure we look at that review. And then we're going to do more 8.5 on Monday. Okay? So we're going to finish the remaining numbers for each column that was stated in each table. Then circle the word below each table that tells what is the same in each function. Okay. Now, differences. See how negative 5 to negative 6, the difference there is negative 1? What? The difference between them? Negative 5 to go down one more is negative 6, right? That's a difference of negative 1. Okay, let's back up. Let's back up. Okay, if we have a chart, we got a table. Here's x, here's y. Negative 5, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 3, 1, 4. Okay? The difference between them, what does difference mean? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, subtracting. Subtracting. Oh, negative 5 minus 1 more is negative 1. Negative 6 minus 3 is how much? Negative, negative 6 to get to negative 3. Negative 6. If I, took, if I have negative 6 and I take away 2 more, I have negative 8. Negative, how do I get from negative 6 to 3? Negative 3. I added 3. And negative 3 to knit to 4, what do I do? You owe me three dollars. You get four. Okay, so you just going one by one and subtracting them to see what you get. Yeah. So and this right here, this is called the first differences. Okay. okay. So if you did like negative three to four and what to get to it, it'd yeah. be like so if you have seven bucks and you owe me three, you have four left over. Right. So you just add seven mm -hmm. to get four, and then yeah. that would be the difference. Yes. Seven. Okay. I get it. Okay. Now, are these all the same? No. So we're going to do something called the second difference. And see if that gives me the same thing. Okay. Negative one, you owe me a dollar. Now all of a sudden you have three. What did you do? Plus 4. And 3 to 7 is? Plus 4. Plus 4. That's called the second difference. Okay? If I have, let's say we have an equation. We have y equals 2x plus 1. If I'm going to make a little table, let's say I'm going to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 2, 1 and 2. I've used these before, right? This is just an example. No, but so we're not subtracting from the first Hold on. I'm backing up just for a second. So negative 1 minus a negative minus 3 gives me, you know, like negative 1 plus what gives me 3? If you think of it that way. Right. 3 plus what gives me 7? 4. Okay. That's easier for me to think about it that way. So I'm going to go negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. 
plus 1 is negative 1, right? 0 times 2 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Okay, so this is linear. We know this is a straight line, correct? It's a y equals mx plus b form. I can tell you what my slope is, what my y-intercept is, right? Yeah. What's my slope for this question? Anybody? <laughs> Not 2x, but just 2. That's the slope, right? What's my y-intercept? What is it? 1. Okay. So we, we know that. We know we've got a nice line there. We're trying to find out what the difference is between all of these. Negative 3 to negative 1, what am I doing? Adding 2. Negative 1 to 1, I'm adding 1 to 3 is, 3 to 5 is. This is the first difference. Do you see how they're all the same? So I'm asking you a question. Do you think all linear equations are going to give you the first difference is the same? No. No? Okay. How many, what would we have to do? Do you want to try a different one? Okay. Let's try a different one. Okay. <laughs> Let's try a different one. So, what if I have y equals, should we try a negative slope? Negative 8. Negative 8. X minus 2. Does that sound good? Okay. I'm going to put it in, I'm going to do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 again. Okay? And I'm going to find my y's. Negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. Minus 2 is negative 14. Negative 2 times negative, whoa. Negative 2 times 16. negative 8 is positive 16. Oh, wow. Minus 2 is a positive 14. Thanks, guys. Negative 1 times 8 is a positive 8. 8 minus 2 is? Okay. 8 times 0, negative 8 times 0. Plus two, minus 2 is? Okay. Negative 8 times 1 is negative 8, minus 2 is? 10, good. 2 times negative 8 is negative? Minus 2 is? Negative 18. Right? 16, you owe me $16, you borrow two more. All right, 14 to 6, how do I get there? 14 minus, minus 8. Right, this becomes minus 8. Negative 6 to negative 2 is minus 8. Positive 6 to negative 2 is negative 8. I'm literally seeing the difference between them, right? We know if you owe me $10 and you borrow 8 more, you borrowed $8. Yeah, I'm just seeing that they're all subtracted 8 all the way down. Okay, so that's the first difference. So are these both linear and the first differences are all the same? Yes. yes. Okay. So this first one right here, I don't get till the second differences are the same. What kind of equation do we think this might be? Exponential. We think it might be exponential. What's my other option? Quadratic. Quadratic. Okay. So which one do you want to try first? you want to try a quadratic one or an exponential one? Should we try a quadratic one? We've done a linear one. We've done linears. Linears, what's the same? Which difference is the same? First. First. Okay. Let's try a quadratic. Let's say we've just got a simple one. Let's do x squared plus 2x plus 3. Just making it up. Okay. Do you guys know that you can do this in your calculator? No. You can make a table in your calculator? No. So if I go to a graphing page. I, okay. So. Right here, I'm at my home page. I hit graph B. Graph page. Woo! Okay. I'm going to hit x squared plus 2x plus 3. Enter. Now, I want you to hit control T. T. And it just does it for me. Isn't that nice? And then we don't have to enter them all. We have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. I'm going to stop there. 
because it gives me 6, 3, 2, 3, and 6. Why did I choose negative 3 to 1? Because what's right in the middle? The vertex, right? How do I know that's the vertex again? It's in the middle. But what does that mean, in the middle? Because if I look outside of it, it has that symmetry, right? Reflecting. Yes, reflecting. Good. Okay. So let's talk about the differences. This is the first difference. Six to three. How do I get there? How do I go from six to three? I Minus two. Minus three. Minus three. Three to two. How did I get there? Two to three. How did I get there? Three to six, how did I get there? Okay. So first differences are not the same. So let's go to second. Add two, good. Negative one to one I add. One to three I add. So what's always the same? Okay. All right. So, so quadratic, the second differences are the same. We haven't done like enough of these to like prove it, but take my word for it. So then the other one would be still making two. Okay, let's look at exponential. So Caleb just said something. He said exponential will be the third difference. What is he making? He's making a prediction, right? Hypothesis, right? Let's try a simple exponential equation. So when I talk about exponential a lot, I talk about e. But we didn't Let's do x to the what? We can do the fourth? Let's just do x to the fourth instead of the 21st. So we've got x and y. Again, I can go to my calculator and I can simply put x to the fourth. You can relax on your mind. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay. So for x to the fourth, I'm going to put negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. I get 81, 16, 1, 0, 1, 16. Okay. Negative times a negative times a negative times a negative. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, right? Times a negative 1 gives me a negative 1. Times a negative 1 gives me a positive 1. Okay. okay, so let's talk about this. Here's my first difference. 81 to 16. Could you just subtract 81 to 16? that number. So I subtracted what? Like... 81 minus what gives me 16. So think about this. I'm doing 81 minus something gives me 16. So I go 16 plus 81. So 81 plus 65. Sixteen to one, I went this is negative sixty five, right? Yeah, I went negative fifteen. One to zero, I went minus one. Zero to one, I went plus one. One to sixteen, I went plus fifteen. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on, we don't know that. Okay. So like one to fifteen, I went up fourteen, right? 1 to 15, I added 14 to get there. Wow. Negative 1 to 1, I added, what, 2? 15 to negative 1, I had to add 14. 65, if I have negative 65 and I get 15, I'd have to add what? 65. Negative 65 plus 15? Yeah. Those aren't the same. So I gotta go to third. Hold on. We gotta go to fourth. 
Oh my god. Oh, you gotta go to four. Up. Uh, why? Because it's a power. Oh my god. Oh my god. So look, look at this. Look how this is. F of x equals like x plus one. That's to the fir first difference. F of x equals x squared. Second difference. F of x equals x to the third. How many differences would it take? Three. Okay, so let's look at this. What is the same in quadratic functions? Always the second difference. Always the second difference. Okay. What is the same in a linear function? Always the what? First difference. What is the same in an exponential function? This is different. It's the ratio. See, it's showing you right here. Okay, it's showing you, because exponential doesn't always go up by the same. We did x to the fourth as just an example, but these exponentials are not always the same. So if we look, that's a good exponential equation. I don't have a good one in my head. If we do like 2 to the x, that's an exponential equation, right? So if we have x and y and we're going to go like negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, 2 to the negative 1 is what? You guys remember? 1 half. 2 to the 0 is 1. 2 to the 1 is 1 half. 2 squared is 4. So it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the differences. It's all about the ratio. Emma calculated the first difference and got a value of 1, 1, negative 3, and negative 5. Then she calculated the difference as negative 2 for all of them. She determined the equation was linear. Is she right? No. Quadratic. No, it's what? Quadratic. Quadratic or what? Second differences are the same, so it's a quadratic. Finish filling in the table below to determine whether it's a function is linear, quadratic, or exponential. Exponential. So... Negative 3 to negative 1 is 2. Negative 1 to 1 is what? 2. 1 to 3 is 2, so it's what? Linear. Okay, let's go to this literacy and vocabulary page. Literacy and vocabulary page. Okay, so which one has a common first di difference? Linear. Linear. Quadratics or exponential, but not linear, have no common first difference. So these two do not have a common first difference. Quadratic has a common what? Second. Second difference. What's true about exponential? It's a what? Ratio. Yeah, it's a ratio, so they don't have a common, no common second difference. And exponential is all about the first and second. Okay, so you're going to do your homework for tonight. It's just these six questions, okay? I don't get number five. All right. So we get one, two, and three. We're just finding first, second difference, or ratio. I had a question. I'm going to slow down. Hold on. I had a question. Before your questions, let me go through. One, I'm going to put I'm going to put this back up in just a second, okay? One, two, and three. You're going to figure out first, second, and differences or a ratio, right? And determine exponential okay. or linear. Okay. Number four, we've got um, the data in the table. You're going to figure out. What the town, uh, does the situation suggest linear exponential? This is quadratic. Cool. Yeah, it's on the back of your teacher. And will the town be reclassified as a city in the next 10 years if it has to be over so much? Consider linear quadratic and exponential functions. What type of function would be best to model the area of a figure? So if we have x, if we have a square, area is what again? Yes, so that would be 
Okay, what type of function would be best to model the perimeter? I'm walking around the outside. Exponential. <laughs> Let's say this is 5 feet, that's 10 feet. 5 plus 10. 5. Plus 10. So let's say I didn't know those two. Oh my god, it's called that down in For perimeter? Area. Okay, let's say these two are x's. So this is 5 plus x plus 5 plus x. What would that be? No. 5 and 5 is how much? Nine. X and x is how much? X and I'm adding them together. There we go. Okay. Okay, so compare the rates for the changes. You're just going to talk about which function has the greatest rate of change. So that's the whole rate of change. That's kind of like a slope. Okay, so if you want to look at all of these between 3 and 5, a graph is probably your best bet. So we're at 4. I'm going to go up to over 1. I don't like that. That's my linear. That's my f of x. I am. g of x is 2x plus 4. So I know it crosses at 4 again, right? It's 2. It's going to be that quadratic. I want you to do that one. h of x equals 2x. Remember, I'm looking for 3, so I didn't do this for you. This is 1, 2, here's 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so if I were you right now, I'd get out my graphing calculator, and I'd put these three things in my calculator to see, and then look between three and five on the table. Hit Control G for the table. That's what I would do. Oh, so you just graph two x squared out. And you're gonna graph two to the x between three and five. You could also look at a table. F of x, g of x. And h of x, okay, and just do like three, four, five. Here's the x with my y. Here's the x with my y. Here's three, four, five. Three, four, five. Like three times two is six. Six plus four is ten. Three squared is nine. Nine times two is eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Two to the third power. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. Is that kind of giving you an idea? Um, no. Try this. Try, try doing these tables for number 6. Number 6 is a hard one. It's kind of a challenge problem. Okay. So if you do those three tables, I give, I'll give you full credit in your homework, and we'll go more over it. Remember, this is not on the quiz tomorrow. This is not on the quiz tomorrow. Not, on the paper. None of this is on the quiz tomorrow. Can you read so it's going to be on the next test. This paper, wait, wait, shh. This paper right here, I gave you two problems like yesterday, and the back has three more problems where you're trying to find the vertex, direction, width, kind of a thing. This is what the quiz is going to look like, just like this. Okay? This is your review. When you picked up your three papers, you should have picked that up. If you can do that tonight, and then try this, that's what I'm asking you to do, okay? We're going to go over the review tomorrow, then we'll take the quiz. We probably won't go over this till Monday. Does that sound good? All right. So, I'm just going to me to put it back. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see all of this sheet. And then I'm going to stop recording. As I cough into my microphone.